Today from the Times Union Center in Albany, New York, it's a semifinal matchup between the top seeded Monmouth University Hawks and the number four seed Siena College Saints. The quick start here today. 6-2 Siena, 17-45 remaining in the half. Another terrific look. This time it's James to Brady. Twenty-three remaining here in the first half, and it's another Brady bucket. Championship here at home, back on campus, where they haven't played for forever. Yeah, and you're right; they ended up winning 20 games that season. It worked out well. That'd be an interesting call. Marquise Wright beats the buzzer for three. He uses the Brady screen, looks for help out to Tillman. Tillman just uses that right shoulder to get to the basket. Exactly, like you said, like hitting the hole like a running back. Quick pass, Bisping. Pass was on yep. spot, on the point, but uh, Bisping just couldn't get it in. Polari. Nothing but net. Who also is a walk-on, but plays a more traditional walk-on role. Hornby. Wow, that's a big-time finish. I'll tell you what, the Hawks with an impressive first half. Brady steals the pass. That's six turnovers now committed by Marquise Wright. Hornby for three. Uh, he's got a little extra in his step today. We've triple penetration. If you can't keep him out of the lane, you got no chance. Back and forth we go. Three consecutive threes for the Saints. It's quickness to come up with the steal, right? Clareth. Credit for that bucket for Monmouth if it had gone in. I guess whoever was closest yeah. to it, but that's a good trivia question. Hogan Yemi. Eight on the shot clock. Here's Claret. Tough shot. Oh, he is feeling it. The high ball screen. Good call. Let Wright go make some plays. Hogan Yemi, wide open look for the lead. Air ball. Shivers puts Siena in front, 65 64. He begs to differ, Doug. That's an assist. That's a Wittenberg assist. Monmouth right back on top. Yeah. And Hornbeak now all over Clara. Hogan Yemi, high post. Leans in on Quinn. Bangs it home. Might want to guard that guy. Marquise right wide. Out of nowhere on the offensive glass. Assignment to Clareth. Remember, Clareth can't move very well. Can shoot it pretty good, but uh, with that ankle, hard to get open. There he is open. He focusing in on the basketball as it gets inside. Clareth now 7 of 8 from beyond the three-point line. Robinson gets the three right back. Place of Shivers. Right into the lane. Big burst to the hole. And great body control to slide by the shot blocker. Bisping picks up the dribble. Right comes to him. Ten on the shot clock. Right has a step on Tillman. Can't get the roll. Bisping crashes for two. Still, though, you got to get the ball into Wright's hands and try to initiate on the offensive side. Here's Wright into Clareth. Catch and release. Here comes Robinson with 50 seconds remaining. Hornby. It's good. 82-81. Need a quick basket. Doesn't have to be a three. Robinson goes to the goal and lays it in. That's quick, too. 15 seconds to go. Justin Robinson desperately trying to get to the basket. Oh, and he fought through contact, was looking for a foul call. The two-time defending regular season chance from Monmouth. Go down in the maximum. Seattle. 